Um, I have some questions about relationships. My most recent relationship ended, and um, it's okay. I really do feel like it was the natural cycle for it to flow out of my life, but I felt a little bit of like, well, should I have focused more? <laughs> should I focus better? Here we go better? again. I know. Here we go again. So now we have an equally <laughs> wonderful question for you. Okay. So you have been in the process of creating this relationship of all relationships in your vortex. Do you think that that one is as big as you want it to be? I do after this one. I do now. So you're actually saying that this relationship was just what was required in order to really get that relationship in your vibrational vortex big enough that you can say there now I've collected the data I've put the stuff over there it's big enough now I'm ready to let it be yeah and maybe even the next one will be more of a collection still I don't know if it's the final final but it's it's much bigger than it was well we really want to talk about making peace with you because to a lot of people we know that you know better than this but we're, we're going to approach it this way anyway to a lot of people making peace with what is still feels like settling for less than I really want and we want to say it in a way that is really convincing to you that making peace with what is is not settling for what is it's settling for what is in the vortex of creation did you hear the distinction in other words by not getting upset about what happened in a relationship by making complete peace with that just by saying okay I get it I have no control there's nothing I can do about it it is what it is in other words just finding every way you can to just accept it as it is but not just accept it as it is adore it for what it created that's making peace with this you see it would be like and this is a bit dramatic but it would be like that person coming knocking on your door and you thinking that that's what you want maybe even and you open the door and you look right at this person at this very person and you hear Abraham saying that's not the one that's not the one that one was the path to the one but that's not the one mm -hmm. it's complicated isn't it because what you create when you align with it will bring someone knocking on your door that might even look like that same person mm -hmm. but vibrationally speaking it's a very different person once you are in a true alignment with what you've put there now did we get too uh, metaphysical in all of that or did you get it? No, I got it so how does somebody make peace with something that's not as they want it to be sounds like a screwy terminology how do I make peace with sickness how do I make peace with being lonely how do I make peace with less than what I want how do I make peace with it well we think you could use the logic that you've gathered up here with us even just now and you could say it's easy for me to make peace with that because that in all that it has been and even in all that it now is it created what so it created the most advanced vibrational version of you yeah. it created the potential emphatically satisfied yes. manifest manifestational possibilities but what it really created was the new marker the new reaching place it created an inner being a God force that is swirling in energy and calling you it created life it created calling it created momentum it created enthusiasm it created adventure it created the reason to be it created the reason to be alive it created life it, in other words it it's so much bigger than what it was and that's pretty easy to make peace with yeah. <laughs> it is and 
my life is a big life and it's a really amazing life and from somebody from the outside looking in they would go you have to be kidding me your life is so good but I'll be standing in it and realize that I don't feel appreciation for it I'll actually just feel when I'm out of the vortex torn apart that I haven't made it as big as I want it to be but you see that brings us around to the thing that we so want you to hear is that in all of this what you've created is a vibrational version of you there's a version of you so in love and so in love with life so in love and feeling so satisfied and so complete and yet so open-ended for more it's satisfying for us to visit with someone who has a very big life because you come closer than anybody to understand what we're getting at when we say what sounds like simplistic words but isn't at all you are the creator of you you have created a version of you that you must always be on the hunt for or you won't feel good you're not ever gonna be complete you're not gonna ever get it done so you're always gonna be on the hunt for who you are but here is the bottom line big time proclamation that we want to make to you especially to you and to everyone is that that hunt for you is life that is what passion is that is what enthusiasm is in other words so many people even people sitting in this room are saying just give me the money and give me the guy and I'll be good I'll just be good with that and we say no that is not true because life's gonna keep creating a new version of you and you've always got to be moving in the direction of that new version you see first you got to know that with everything that you are and then you'll rendezvous with a guy who knows it with everything that he is and then the two of you will have a really good time together Thanks. and until then if you hook up with anybody who does not know that and you try to maintain a relationship with anybody who does not know that like heel marks on the pavement <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you.